God cannot give everybody, just anoint everybody at the same time. No. When he wants to release a dimension of his possibilities on earth, the way he does it is to find a man. When he finds a man, he enters a covenant with that man that becomes a platform for allowing a territory experience that spiritual possibility. Subscribe to our, our, our YouTube channel. Welcome to Dynamics Up YouTube channel. Have you ever wondered why some seem to always be in the right place at the right time? Or why certain relationships and decisions bring unexpected blessing? In this video, we are going to uncover a concept that goes beyond chance. It is called spiritual discernment. This video dives into the importance of prayer as a spiritual discipline and how it goes beyond just saying words. We will explore how a consistent prayer life can deepen one's sensitivity to God's will develop inner peace and sharpen the ability to make wise decisions even in tough times for those striving for a closer relationship with god or anyone facing difficult choices this journey will provide clarity and direction why should you watch this video in the world filled with noise distraction and conflicting advice having a sense of true discernment is priceless by watching this video you will learn the practical step to grow in discernment whether you are facing career decision relationship marriage or searching for a deeper spiritual connection this insight will help you navigate life with confidence and peace by being sensitive to divine direction make sure you watch this video thank you begin to give themselves consistently if you are not consistent in prayer you will not see any of these things i'm mentioning even though you are praying there are people who have been praying but they will not find anything among this list that i'm about to mention because there's no consistency africa pray so Many believers pray, but we have not derived the profit and the power that comes from prayer because we have not been consistent. I'm praying for you that the spirit of prayer and supplication tonight, honestly, will mantle someone that the grace to pray and stay till it works wonders in your life. May it rest upon you in Jesus' name. When we pray, there are six things that happen when we pray consistently consistently number one the first thing that happens to a believer when you submit yourself to consistent prayer is that our spirits are quickened to discern our spirits are quickened to discern the quickening of the spirit that leads to discernment is the first gift you receive when you are consistent the quickening of the spirit that causes you to discern Philippians chapter 4 6 and 7 let's hurry up the Bible says be careful the word careful there is talking about anxiety be anxious for nothing listen but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god what happens next verse 7 it says and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding are you seeing that something has happened to you beyond the realm of understanding that peace will guard your heart and your minds do you know what it means it is a it is a dimension of discernment where the peace of god guards both your heart and your mind is like a system of regulation it tells you something it's a language in the spirit when the peace of God can guard your heart and guard your mind most people do not even know what this is about because they have not submitted themselves to prayer consistent prayer listen to me everyone listen to me you don't have to be an intercessor you just need to be a serious person with god and your destiny at the point you make up your mind in righteousness that i will submit myself to consistent prayer consistent prayer consistent prayer praying in the spirit praying in tongues consistently you access the quickening of the spirit what does that mean i have taught you many times in this house that the, the way we have senses papa hagen would teach it so beautifully that you have your sense of smell your sense of sight your hearing your skin for touching and feeling are we together 
your tongue for tasting we say there are five senses biologically you know in the realm of the spirit there are more than five senses now with all due respect fathers like papa hagen would teach that there are also five senses in the realm of the spirit i agree but there are many other impulses and i taught this many years ago that there are many other impulses that a man has within his spirit that does not have physical definitions are we together now there are various channels for perceiving things that do not have their physical parallels you cannot give it language and yet you know that you have perceived things in the spirit are we learning now there is the hearing and hearing in the spirit too there is seeing and seeing in the spirit too there is feeling and feeling in the spirit too but there are other channels for perception that are not defined biology does not give us definition but there are it's, it's like your body is connected to a lot of other higher mechanisms for perception let me tell you if you pray consistently you will be able to discern immediately and, and I'm, I'm not talking of flesh and biases you can know when god is in a thing and you can know when god is not in a thing your spirit has been quickened you can shake somebody and not know why you are feeling the way you are feeling the person is not bad there is nothing evil because the physical realm only tastes and feels things that are current your spirit man can perceive tomorrow today so you can see someone who is very nice today but your spirit man is fighting 2026 he's fighting trouble that is coming from that relationship today you can't there is there is nothing exactly that should tell you why there is trouble i mean this business partner is a very nice person but your spirit has already gone and it can perceive impulses beyond the current level let me tell you this that is what it means for the peace of god to protect your heart and your mind when you submit yourself to prayer and there is turbulence within your spirit even when there is peace physically keep praying keep praying are we together now spiritual realities are not like physical realities and if you do not know how to discern you will there are people today with all due respect who have passed on who should have no business dying they did not train this faculty are we together they entered a car everything around them the holy ghost was trying to use everything to tell them but they could not perceive nor did they have the spiritual intelligence to take authority over the situation the quickening of the spirit the quickening of the spirit you can see someone have you met someone before and you just connected as if you've known yourself for five years it's because your spirits were prepared already it is only physically you don't know yourself but in the realm of the spirit there is something about destiny and when you saw it deep called on to deep that's how destiny connections happen let me tell you the truth if you want to wait till you know people physically you are carnal you will pay the price there's a way you can see someone and know I, I don't know what it is about this person one day after five years you will meet in France and say I saw you somewhere yes truly so you are the one who should help me Judas never said Jesus I will kill you one day Jesus saw Judas can you imagine walking with someone every day knowing that this is the person who will kill me tomorrow he said that which you do do quickly and he went and did it quickly you see how foolish he was they've already told you that which you would do do quickly and the, the disciples thought that Jesus was talking about money issues I cannot tell you how many people have been saved because their capacity to discern had been quickened there are people who have missed out on the prophetic program of God God was going left and they went right and they stood there wondering God where are you God says I'm on the other side of your discernment you need to pray in this end time there is a way that seemed right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death the first thing that happens to you when you give yourself to prayer is you no more interpret life by what you hear by what you see look up 
Many people are defeated today because their principal channel for perceiving and interpreting life are their eyes, their ears, their brain. If my eye says it is good, my ear says it is good, I feel it is good, I will do it. That is a, that's a suicide mission. There are many good things that will land you in trouble. You need to develop other perceptions. Are we together? And it does not always have to be negative. Sometimes someone can come to your company and somebody will tell you, this guy is a thief. This guy is a nasty person. He's always causing trouble. But your spirit man receives him in a way you cannot explain. Because your spirit has seen that there was a prophetic word mama gave on that boy. And say, even though you are stubborn because you helped me, may God always use you. That is the blessing God wants your company to receive. So you can see the boy will come. He's stubborn. He's not listening. But if you can discern and ask God, why did you bring this child to this house as a house help? One day God will tell you. You see, ba, many things that God gives men does not come in packages that are beautiful. It takes discernment. Are we together now? Yes. It takes discernment. Somebody who may not necessarily be that loyal and faithful, but one day the person will be a contributor to you at a point of desperation. Desperation. I know people today who kept supposedly nobodies in their houses. When they became sick, when they became down, do you know that some of those young ladies, young guys were the people who stood with them if I made up their mind that even if Madame would die, even if Oga would die, I would stand, even when their own children ran away. There was a little girl called the slave girl. Her mother gave her a name. We don't know what her name is. But she went to the house of Naaman. You think that she went to that house on her own as part of the spoils of war? No. There was a relationship she had with the prophet and God kept her there because he saw the purity of Naaman's heart. Now it was up to Naaman to listen to the girl. It takes discernment. Some of the answers to your prayer are in packages that you will never receive if you are walking with your eyes, you are walking with your ears. Who is learning tonight? You must trust God for grace to discern. Because for some of you, the reason why you always fall easily is that enemies have found out that your weakness is laughter. Anybody that laughs with you, even if it's a, a knife is on his forehead, you say you are welcome to my house. Discernment. Mm. Discernment. Not every kind of kiss is a sign of love. Huh? There is a kiss that is a sign of love, but there is a kiss that is a signal. This is the person to die in this family. This is a person to go down in this family. I pray for you, where you have entered trouble on your own, because your spirit has not discerned from today, may God sharpen your discernment. May God sharpen your discernment. Hallelujah. It was God's servant who said, as they kept going from place to place, looking for land for ministry they could not find anywhere but he got to a place and the holy ghost told him this is the place it was a forest same thing with rccg same thing with every there's nobody who went to their promised land and it looked like a promised land every promised land will look like a wilderness it is discernment that makes you to see the unseen are we together now for somebody, the job you are about to quit, God is saying, stay there. Not because of the salary. Stay there because God has orchestrated that by December, the helper, you see that now. You may have been treated bad in the place, but stay there. Now, for many people, we are controlled by salary. When the devil, I'm not saying it's wrong, and I'm not being, being uh, you know, uh, on... Uh, what's the word now i i relate with the pain of people but i'm telling you why many b believers get into trouble is that they are governed by physical things when the devil wants to move you out of the place of destiny he flags more money for you and you can literally move 10 years backward because hundred thousand was added to your life the first thing that happens when we pray 
is that we are quickened by the Holy Ghost in the place of prayer to discern. Number two, very so in today's message, I'm going to be doing a summary recap to make sure that our via lives with a clear understanding of the message. So in today's message, we explore the power of discernment and how we can develop this spiritual skill through a dedicated life of prayer. We discuss that discernment is more than intuition. It is a divine gift that allows us to navigate life challenges with wisdom and peace. Through prayer, we strengthen our sensitivity to God's guidance, helping us to make sure it's aligned with His will. We learn from a biblical example and personal testimonies that a life led by discernment can spare us from unnecessary hardship and draw us closer to God's purpose for us. Going through our notes, there are a series of things I had to jot on. Number one is the spirit of discernment comes when we pray consistently so the number two it was consistent prayer activates the quickening of the spirit the number three is what consistent prayer helps you to know when god is in a team and when he is not the number four is when you pray consistently you will not interpret life by your five words senses your year means you know we believers we normally judge so many things based on our senses so there are some things you will be trusting god for and some things that you'll be asking god um, through his leading to guide you to venture into so it takes what praying consistently so you will not interpret life based on your five senses so you will not start eating that god is in us do you understand so the number five is what many things that god gives men does not come in beautiful packages because what you must what discern the number six is what every promised land always look like a wilderness it is discernment that makes you see the what the unseen so i'm going to be sharing you guys i'm going to be asking you guys questions and i want you guys to answer this question in the comment section so these are my questions why is it so important to seek discernment through prayer so number two quick number number my number two question is how can someone tell if what they are feeling is genuine discernment from god or just personal intuition my number three question what should someone do if they are not getting clear answers in prayer my number four question can discernment change over time or once god gives direction is it set so make sure you um, answer this question through the comment section and i'll be posting the question on the screen for you to get a clear view and please i want you to drop what i want you to drop your own answer so let's engage and share together and learn from one another for anyone who feels the pull to strengthen their relationship with god so i want to invite you to pray with me dear lord jesus dear lord jesus i know that i'm a sinner and i ask for your forgiveness I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I want to trust you and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me and giving me a new life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.